Hello friends, and welcome to church. My name is Pastor Bruce Dickerson, and I'm the lead pastor at Jerome Church, and I'm so excited to welcome you this evening to our Christmas Eve celebration, as we once again come together to hear the story of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, a story that changes everything. Later on, we will be having a candlelight portion of this service where we'd love for you to join in as we sing Silent Night. And I know you can't be here in person, but if you'd like to get a candle that you can light in the house, or later if you don't have a candle, you just like to uh, turn off the lights in your house and just sit by the glow and sing along with Silent Night to the glow of your Christmas tree. That would be fine too. So let us now join together in worship and praise.
We light the Christ candle to symbolize God's promise fulfilled. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to all whom his favor rests. And we all respond, blessed be the name of the Lord. Christmas fills our hearts with joy as we think of gifts, lights, and holiday spirits. But remember, Christmas means something more. It's the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us travel back to Bethlehem and learn about the story of Jesus' birth. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. We went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee in Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him and she was expecting a baby. Room in the sand? Nope, I'm sorry. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. do you have any room in your inn? We have too much people, we don't have any room. Okay. <laughs> All of our rooms are full, but I have a stable out back that you can use. It's not much, but it will give you some shelter. Okay. Joseph, please, let's go to the stable. The, I, the baby's coming soon. <laughs> While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to the, her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night. They were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them. They were terrified. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people today in the town of David. A Savior has been born to you. 
He's the Messiah, the Lord. Here's how you know I'm telling the truth. You'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, God will toward men. Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and they found the baby lying in the manger. After the shepherds saw him, they told everyone. They reported what the angel said about the child. All of them were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary kept all of these things like a secret. Treasure in her heart, the baby was named Jesus, because this was the name the angel had given him before he was born. Some day later, after, after Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the child who has been born to be the king of the Jews? We saw the star and why it was. <laughs> now we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about it, he was very upset, so he called some important people together and asked where the Messiah was going to be born. In Bethlehem, they replied. So King Herod called for the wise men and sent them to Bethlehem to find the child. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. <laughs> the wise men went to the house. There, they saw the child with his family. They bowed down to worship him. They opened their treasure and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. As we see the twinkling Christmas lights, let us remember the star that led the wise men to seek our Savior. And when we receive gifts, think about the gift that God has given us through Jesus because he loves us so much. From all of us, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. 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 Hello, church, and Merry Christmas. It is so good to be with you in worship on this special evening. My name is Sarah Merriweather, and I'm the executive director here at Jerome. Thank you for celebrating Christmas with us and your online church family. As we prepare to hear today's Christmas Eve message, I want to invite you to connect with us during this time of our online worship together. During today's message, you can use the chat or the comment function on any platform that you're watching on to say Merry Christmas or to share your thoughts or your prayer concerns with our staff and our online worshiping congregation. I also invite you to connect to Church Center, which is our app and our online resource that virtually connects you to our Connect card, signups for upcoming events, worship videos and resources, kids and family resources, and our online giving platform to support the ministries and missions of Jerome Church. You can scan the QR code on the screen to connect or visit us online at jeromechurch.org slash church dash center. Now let's hear today's Christmas Eve message from Pastor Bruce as we continue our worship celebration. Would you pray with me, friends? 
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, our Savior and our Redeemer. Now, we've just heard uh, that our kids have told us the story of Jesus' birth. And I have to admit, I love our kids' video every year at Christmas. And I'm always excited, whatever church I've been in, uh, to take part as a parent or a participant in the Christmas pageants that the different churches have had that I've served, whether it's in person or over video or just sometimes sitting in the back running sound or tech. I love to watch the kids retell this story. I've served and it's just always been a special experience. Now as a child, I remember watching a TV special uh, about a very peculiar Christmas pageant. It was called The Best Christmas Pageant Ever and it was based off a, a play. And it's about a family of poor kids aptly named Herdmen. And they hijack a children's Christmas pageant, taking all of the choice roles by intimidation and force. As the performance degenerates into chaos, the youngest Herman, who plays the angel announcing the Messiah's birth to the shepherds, yells out over the den, Hey! Unto you a child is born! And thankfully, the great news of Jesus' birth, the event of the incarnation of God coming in the flesh in the form of Jesus, can still cut through the noise of our distracted culture and our own restless souls. And we need that message just as much today as those over 2,000 years ago needed to hear it. That is why we are here tonight to once again hear the story because Lord knows that we live in a society full of distractions and noise. We have social media messages and tweets and TikToks and reels. We uh, binge watch Netflix. We have work and a home and school and homework and sports and politics. Elephants, donkeys, war in Ukraine, China, Russia, family, kids, flu, COVID, dirty diapers. As the Grinch would say, oh, the noise, oh, the noise, 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 noise. There's one thing I hate, oh, the noise, 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 noise. And they'll shriek, squeaks, and squeals, racing around on their wheels. They'll dance with jing tinglers tied on to their heels. They'll blow their flu flubers. They'll bang their tar tinkers. They'll blow their hoo woobas and bang their gar tinkers. They'll beat their trump tukas and they'll slam their slew slunkers and then they'll make ear splitting noises deluxe on their great big electro who cardio schnooks. It's enough to make you want to talk in rhymes to imagine all the noise, the cacophony that the Grinch is talking about, but we have just as much in today's world with everything else that I mentioned. Yet even with all of that noise, the story we came to hear tonight is the story that changes everything. It's a story that needs to be heard over all the other noise in our lives. And the good news, it resonates so loud and clear, it is heard. Ultimately, the good news is not just about a babe born in a manger, but it's the news that Jesus is a message of love. God's unfathomable, unimaginable love for us is so deep that it took God's very presence on earth for humanity to begin to understand the perfect nature of the one who created us. A nature so deeply surrounded and engulfed in love that there are very few other meanings or stories behind this message. It's the scriptures, this one long story of love of God for his creation, a creation which broke God's heart. That God still wanted to be in a right relationship with us and has tried to reclaim us over and over again. And ultimately, he reclaims us through a babe lying in a manger who would go on to tell us how to live life to the fullest, to a fullness by God's standards, and who would sacrifice himself on a cross 
lay in a tomb for three days and then rise again on the third day. The heart of God's message through Jesus is love. And so we have to ask ourselves, as we hear this story, how does that make us want to respond? It makes me want to praise, it makes me want to shout, but it makes me want to share that good news with others who are caught in the noise of today's world. It makes me want to respond to this sign of God's grace by sharing God's love with others. And sharing God's love can take so many forms. It can take into service our advocacy or mission or education, and there's more and more. Through sharing God's love, God invites all to share in God's mission with Jesus Christ to the world. And the good news does not stop with the Christmas message. It goes on beyond tonight. It goes on beyond tomorrow. It goes beyond when we take down our trees and put away our gifts and our decorations. It's a story of love that is told within our hearts each and every day, and therefore we need to share it each and every day. It's a story that resonates year round. It's a story of God's love for us. Friends, God loves you and there's nothing you can do about that. That's a story worth sharing in our lives each and every day through action and word. May it be so. Thanks be to God. And friends, Merry Christmas. Tears are falling, hearts are breaking, how we need to
It's good to be with you again in worship this evening. Over these past few weeks, we have journeyed together through the season of Advent, preparing our hearts for the coming of Jesus at Christmas. And today we gather in person and here online to celebrate the birth of our Savior together. Today we're hearing God's call to be his messengers of good news to the world. We are so glad that you have found a church home with us here at Jerome Church and pray that through worship and connecting with this community that you will be strengthened and inspired to share your God story. We would be honored to walk with you as you take your next steps to find your unique ways to worship, serve, and grow spiritually in the year ahead through the ministries and missions of this church. As we continue in worship, I want to invite you to check in to worship or complete a Connect card while you're worshiping this evening. Through your Connect card, you can share your prayer concerns and connect with our staff so that we can better serve you in your faith journey. And if you're joining us for the first time today, I want to extend a special welcome to you this Christmas Eve. When you complete your Connect card for the first time, we will donate to a local mission on your behalf. You can complete your Connect card by clicking on the links in today's video description, by scanning the QR code that's on the screen right now, or by texting CONNECT to 614-587-7871. What a blessing it is to be a part of a church that lives out the mission of loving God and loving people, not just at Christmas, but every day of the year. Now we are joined by Michelle Blackburn, who is going to tell us more about how we can support our special Christmas offering with 100% of our giving directly supporting the missions of Jerome Church. Hello, Jerome Church family and friends. My name is Michelle Blackburn, and I am the Missions and Guest Relations Coordinator here at Jerome Church. This Christmas, 100% of our special Christmas offering will go to support the missions of Jerome Church. Every dollar that you generously give will support the mission of loving God and loving people through the work of our local, national, and international missions in the year ahead. Jerome Church serves our neighbors locally, nationally, and internationally through missions including the Church for All People, the Diaper Angels, Habitat for Humanity, the United Methodist Committee on Relief, Appalachia Service Project, and Boxes of Hope, just to name a few. This Christmas, you can be a difference maker in the lives of others in our community and around the world by giving to this special offering. Our missions are fully funded through only our annual special offerings and donations, and your giving will fuel the life-changing missions of Jerome Church in the year to come. You can give by scanning the QR code on the screen, texting GIVE to 614-587-7871, or by visiting jeromechurch.org forward slash give. Now let's take a look and celebrate what God has done through the people of Jerome Church this year.
friends, I want to thank you once again for joining us for worship this Christmas Eve. And I want to wish you from Jerome Church, all of its disciples, members, and friends, a very Merry Christmas. The next part of our worship is one of my favorite Christmas traditions, and that is the lighting of the candles as we sing Silent Night by that candlelight. I want to invite you now to find a candle and light it, or even use the flashlight on your phone and turn down the lights in the room where you are as we join together in this special tradition of Christmas worship. We may not be gathered together in the same room, but we are gathered together in spirit through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in worship. So let's now join in the singing of Silent Night. For the light came into the world, and the darkness could not overcome it. Have a blessed and Merry Christmas. Stop. 